couple of videos back, I went out looking for a toolbox. I went to a couple of local flea markets. I went to Tractor Supply and Walmart. You know, I found toolboxes there, but my gosh, they were just so flimsy. And I wasn't going to pay that much. You know, I was looking to pay up to $100, but what they had for $100, uh-uh, just not going to do that. Stuff's just too cheap. It'll fall apart in two months. Well, I found one. It costs more than $100, but I had a coupon. So who has coupons for a toolbox and tools? Walmart? No. <laughs> Kmart? Do they even still exist? I haven't seen one of those around here in years. No. By the title of this video, you know, I went to Harbor Freight. Oh no, that's cheap tools from China. Well, a lot of the tools you buy at all them other places are made in China too. So coupons at Arbor Freight. Yeah, they brought them back. Man, when we got an Arbor Freight here, I always looked at the coupons. They had great deals on just cheap old tools, but I got a ton over here in my toolbox. I don't use them to make a living, but they get the job done and they're a lot cheaper. Well, Arbor Freight did get rid of coupons for, I guess, probably about a year, year and a half, and people got upset. Yes, really. There are people out there that got upset that Arbor Freight got rid of their coupons. They were just giving an everyday low price, and it makes you think you're getting a good deal, but you're not. I watch a lot of YouTube videos, and a lot of people were making videos on coupons and special things they can see at Arbor Freight, you know, or stuff that they could buy at Arbor Freight, and they got rid of the coupons, and people were mad. So I think Arbor Freight probably saw a decline in sales, and so here a few months ago, they slowly brought the coupons back. Well, when I got back from up north, I got an email, it was from Arbor Freight, and here's this toolbox in there. I looked online, Walmart didn't really have nothing in, so I went to Lowe's. I found something comparable at Lowe's. So I went and looked at it. I'm like, oh my gosh, Craftsman. This thing is so flimsy. I thought it was going to fall apart when I opened it up. I'm like, I'm not going to spend, you know, it's the same amount of money as the Arbor Freight one was. So I went to Arbor Freight and I bought it. Arbor Freight is known for good quality toolboxes. That is something that Arbor Freight gets right. They do have good toolboxes. The pricing on their toolboxes are pretty fair. This big red toolbox that I have over here, this one right here, I bought it probably three and a half years ago, maybe a little bit longer, before we built this house and shop. I told my wife at the time, like, hey, at the new shop, I'd really like to put my tools, you know, my screwdrivers, pliers, sockets, you know, crescent wrenches, stuff like that. I'd like to put them in a toolbox instead of hanging them on a pegboard. Because things on a pegboard get disorganized. Yes, they get disorganized in drawers on a toolbox, but hey, my screwdrivers are always in that one drawer, you know, so I know where everything's at. Yeah, I put those snap-on stickers on there, but that toolbox for snap-on would be in a couple thousand dollars. My tools don't have the privilege of living in a $2,000 plus toolbox. Nope. I got one of those flyers in the mail back then and was just looking through there and my wife was just kind of looking through it with me and she saw this coupon for this toolbox for $1.99. She goes, is that a big toolbox or one of those small toolboxes? So I looked it over, I go, no, that's a pretty good toolbox. It's probably... Oh, it may be almost five feet high, two piece. She said, that's a great price. Let's go buy that. I mean, my wife told me to go buy this toolbox because it was a coupon for $1.99. I went and bought it and we put it in a storage over in my other shop until we could get moved in over here. Then I got it assembled. If I had to buy that toolbox right now, it cost me about $580. The chest is like $230 and the bottom roll around chest is 
like $349.99. Back then without the coupon, it was $350. But now it costs you $580 right around there. So I got it for basically a third of the price back then. So what new toolbox did I get? Well, let's see. The SKU is 64722. It's a five drawer roll cart, one piece, 60.5 kilograms. The gross weight is 66 kilograms. So I guess this box and everything weighs a half a kilogram. 12.2 cubic feet. There's the PO number. And the distribution center is Los Angeles or Moreno Valley. I don't know what the C number is. 10205, but it is made in China. So what toolbox did I get? I got the US General. 30 inch, five drawer mechanics cart. 15,000 cubic inches of storage. Oh my! And I can put 700 pounds worth of tools in there. And it's orange. They only had orange, yellow, and green when I bought this. I'm too manly to have a yellow or lime green looking toolbox. Or maybe I'm not manly enough to have a yellow or lime green toolbox. I decided to assemble this toolbox here in Arkansas. I mean, I got it out of my truck because it was going to rain that night, so I'm not going to leave it out in my truck and let it get all wet. And I have no way of putting it back in my truck and going to Missouri and then unload it again out of my truck and put it together up there. And I don't have all my tools up there. I do here in Arkansas, though. At least I think I do. So let's get this cart opened up and lay all these pieces out and just see what we got here. That's enough of that. Okay, well I got it unboxed. There's the chest. There's the legs. There's the, I guess, hydraulic hinges. A bottom tray and some keys. There's some instructions. I'm going to have to read those. Now I'm going to try to get this thing put together. I'll get back with you when I get it done. How hard can it be to put a toolbox together? The instructions couldn't have been any clearer. The bolts of turning should revolve clockwards as an above figure below. <laughs> Duh. Well, man, these wheels are beefy. Good gosh. Big as my hand. <laughs> Bottom tray is done. Okay, now it's time to put the legs on there. Let's get that done. Okay, I'm not gonna tighten these up because I still gotta put cross braces in here. If these are tightened up, they won't work just right. Gotta get it all kind of pre-assembled. Then I can get them tightened up. Well, I have to study the directions a little bit. I don't know exactly how these parts go on there. But for my best guess is this goes on the inside, of course. And then this curved edge right here goes towards the inside. So let's get the nuts and bolts for this and let's get these supports on. There we go. Now let's get all this tightened up. Feels pretty solid. Wouldn't say this stuff is an eighth of an inch thick, but it's pretty close. Okay, now we have to take this big thing and put it into here. And I don't think I can do it by myself. 
So let me check on things. Be right back. Well, I got it in there. I had to call in a lifeline, but I got someone to help me put this in there. My wife. She probably shouldn't have helped me, but she did. So now we're going to have to put the bolts and everything in these corners right here. So that way this thing is fastened to there. Earlier in the video, I called these hydraulic. They're not. They're air. Just to let you know, they're air. They're not hydraulic. That probably costs too much to have a hydraulic system to pick up the lid on this toolbox. Well, right now, I'm going to have to take these brackets and basically put it on the inside, which would be like right here. Then put screws and nuts in it, and that there will attach this top to the legs. So let's get that done. Okay, I couldn't really show you me putting these bolts and nuts on. There is four in each corner, you know, two on the back, two on the side, then up here in the front, two in the front, two in the side, same over there. I can't get the impact in here, but I can get a quarter inch ratchet in here to get these ratcheted on. This corner here was the hardest corner. It was like out of whack. I'm just going to go around and tighten all four of these corners down and I'll come back to you. Well folks, here it is. The Arbor Freight US General 30 inch five drawer tool chest. This thing is not bad. It's sturdy. It's heavy. The metal is a lot. Well, maybe not a lot, but it's thicker than like your Craftsman and your Walmart brand little tool chest. Actually, it's a mechanic's car. Oh, well, sometimes I'm a mechanic. Well, it's pretty nice. You got this handle here you can pull it around with. That tray there, I'm sure you can put some WD-40 or something like that in there. Maybe some spray paint cans. I don't know. I'll just have to wait and see. On assembly, I had a few problems. All the nuts are 13 millimeters, and they're all carriage bolts. Well, carriage bolts have that little square shoulder on them. Well, on the bolts for here, the slots there in the metal won't hold the carriage bolts. The nuts they want you to use for that have a nylon insert in them. So when you try to, you can't get it to tighten up. All it does is go on, and when it gets to that nylon, it just spins the bolt. So I'd go down to the hardware store and buy a bunch of M8 bolts, because that's the size M8 for the nuts, metric. And I went ahead and bought some lock washers, and I got all those wheels on there, and it rolls around good. Everything else is pretty much pretty easy. You just take these legs right here. There's four bolts in each corner, as you can see. You just take them. I used an impact wrench with a socket. Boom, them puppies tightened up really good. Then you got these cross braces that go all the way around, like right here. One there, and you can see back there. That's what holds the tool chest on. If you're really strong, you can pick up the whole tool chest, and you can just set it down in this frame. Then, you got to take and put four bolts in each corner, and there's a little brace right here, bracket, that you put in that really holds it on. These are basically like a lock washer, I mean like a lock nut. It locks on there, and they're pretty tight. You got to get, I think on, on each corner, I had to use the little ratchet right here to tighten up the nut, because I couldn't get an impact in there. One other problem I really had on this was the handle. It just shows you just put the handle and the screws in. Well, I tried tightening up those little screws in there and they would not tighten, so I had to put a couple washers in there so they, so they would get tightened up. But that part there ain't bad. So really my only complaint is you can't use the screws, you can't use the nuts and screws for the wheels, and you had to put a couple washers there. This here is every tool that I use to put this together. Impact wrench with an extension and 13 millimeter socket. Quarter inch ratchet with a 13 millimeter socket. 13 millimeter wrench. A Phillips screwdriver for the handle. You know, I haven't used those yet. I didn't need the keys, but I'm glad I had them. They gave me four of them. I have a hard enough time keeping up with one key. And I gotta keep up with four. I like these drawers. They have these little latches like right here. You can take to open up. They slide out really nice. Every drawer comes with a black mat. 
which is really nice. Then you got these big deep drawers here. I mean, that's pretty deep right there. Pretty good sized drawer. And you got this deeper drawer here. Pretty nice. They all come with matting in them and on the bottom. Now this one here, this here is what I had left over. I had a washer left over and I checked all 16 bolts on the bottom of this thing have a big washer. There's no holes left for these screws and I got two nuts left. So I got three screws and two nuts. Maybe they're just extra in case you drop them because I did drop some. But I do like these air shocks on here. I mean, I know I call them hydraulics, but same principle except they use air instead of oil. This closes down real good. I can lock that thing up and I'll have a tool chest for Bob's Acres. Well, that's how you put one of these tool chests or mechanic carts together. I'm not very good at tutorials or anything like that, but I tried to explain any problems I had putting it together, which is... You're going to have to have two people to put the chest in the car. It, and for me, the bolts on the bottom, the carriage bolts, the slots in the middle would not hold the nut so I could put the nylon nut on there. So I had to go buy some lock washers and some new nuts to put on there. Really no big deal. Um, putting the washers for the handle here. I mean, that's just a minor thing. I mean, they might have put too long a screw for the handle in there. I don't know. But pretty much if you follow the instructions, you'll be fine. So if you get one of these carts, it's going to be easy to put together. I mean, if you just got a little ingenuity in your brain, you can put this together. It looks like it's going to be a pretty solid cart for what I need. I should be able to put in all my little hand tools and stuff in here just to keep them organized. Well, everyone, thanks for watching. Leave a comment. If you have this chest, leave a comment. You know, tell me something that you don't like or something I need to watch out for. You know, does it fall apart in three days and you don't realize it or, you know, I'm sure it's not, but something crazy like that, let me know. That way I can be on the lookout for it. And if I come across any problems with it, hey, I'll be sure to share them on here too. Well, hey everyone, thanks for watching. Be sure to like the video or you can dislike it. I just need the engagement. Shows that people are watching. I'm getting ready to haul this thing up to Pops Acres and get it in the shed. Well, until next time, see ya!